Hey guys, today's project I want to make a thread protector for the threads on the spindle of my lathe. These are inch and a half by eight TPI threads. I'm just going to use a two inch diameter chunk of aluminum that I have. This should be a fairly straightforward project, so let me get the chuck back on here and we'll get set up for facing and then boring this out. This is a quarter inch pilot drill. Now we'll start to open up this hole. The first drill bit I have in here is a 21 30 seconds. Um, just because I grabbed it and it was sharp, that's what I'm using. And then the largest one I have is a 49 So we'll follow up this one with that one. I've got a boring bar set up with a piece of high speed steel in it. And I'm just going to bore this out to a diameter of one inch 360 thousandths. And that'll be the minor diameter for the inch and a half by eight TPI threads that we're gonna put in there. The reason I've got this so far out, probably a quarter inch away from the back of the chuck, is so that I can see as I approach it and make sure to disengage the feed and not run into the chuck inside there. So let me rough this down off camera and then we'll come back for the last uh, couple passes. Alright, this is mostly bored out now. We're at about 1 inch 342, 343, so we got thousandths to go.
So we need about three and a half, four more thousands. I'm happy with that. One inch 360. Next I'm just going to use a high speed steel tool and we're going to bring this diameter out to inch and a half, probably a couple thousandths over, five, one inch 502 or something like that, for about three eighths of an inch deep down into here. And that's because on the spindle the threads don't go all the way up to the back of it. So that'll allow clearance when we take this off, we're going to flip it around to thread it on there and that's what that register will be for. Okay, we're all set up to start cutting the internal threads in here now. I've got a piece of high-speed steel ground in a boring bar, and I used my fish tape and squared it up to the chuck. That's ready to go. The quick change gearbox is in 8 TPI, and I slowed the lathe down a little bit so that it wouldn't feed so quickly. I've got the compound set to 29.5 degrees in this direction and the dial is zeroed out so I'm just going to go in and touch off and then I'll zero the cross slide dial and do a scratch pass. Looks like 8 TPI to me.
I'm gonna keep cutting this off camera and then I'll bring you back when it's almost done. Okay, we're gonna do one more spring pass and then test out the fit. I don't know if you can see, we just barely scratched the surface right here of our register. Okay, let's pull the chuck off and spin it around and see if it works. So we just barely touched off on our register there. Still a little tight. So we'll pick them back up and take just a little bit more off. So we're just going to take a few more thousands out of here and then we'll test it out again. And we'll do a spring pass. Try this one more time. Hopefully one more time. Perfect. They're really snug. And it goes back all the way up against the face of the spindle. So I'm going to put the chuck back on and then we're going to chamfer these edges and then we can pull it out of here. Off camera I went ahead and cut about a half inch of this off on the bandsaw. It was longer than it needed to be. I didn't do it beforehand because this was all of the two inch bar stock that I had left and I didn't think saving a half inch of it was worth it. It was easier, it made it easier with more material to hold it in the chuck, so I left it on there. But with that cut off, this thread's right on here. And now I'm going to do a light pass over the outside and on the face of it to true it up. I think the last thing I'm going to do is drill a hole in it, just like a quarter inch hole, so that I can stick a bar in there to pop it off easier when I want to take it off. Other than that, it's all done. Here's the finished piece. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.